Hey, I'm going to show you how to sew up the seam um, from the cast on edge and the cast off edge of an item, such as these garter stitch mitts. So I'll be showing you how to sew this seam here and this seam here. So I've got it started here for you. I have loaded the tail onto a tapestry needle with a blunt tip. And so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be coming under two pieces of yarn. So there's one, there's two. I'm going to stick the needle under there. I'm going to pull not too tightly because I want to try to replicate with the sewing yarn um, the same tension that I was getting with my knitting needles. So now I'm going to come back under the side that's closer to me under two pieces of yarn. I'm going to pull tight but not too tightly. If you leave it too loose you'll be able to see your skin between the two edges. If you leave it too tight it's going to be stiff and immobile and feel strange. So then I'm going to come, I'm coming underneath every time, so from the inside of the mitten out. Catching two, kind of like a shoelace. Zigzagging under, catching two from this side, catching two from this side, and every once in a while just giving a little test stretch just to make sure that I'm getting the tension right. So coming under two, and the reason we want to come under two pieces of yarn instead of one is because if we come under just one piece of yarn, because knitting is a loop, it's going to pull the other part of the loop out of alignment and you're going to get this big gaping kind of hole. You don't want any holes in our sewn seams. So we're going to go instead under two pieces of yarn and that renders a much quicker seam. And when I've gone as far as I need to go, I'm going to reverse the process to sort of tuck in the end and make this a really strong stop. So I just came out of this side. I've been zigzagging and shoelacing all the way up. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duck under from the top this time and come out. And before I pull that loop really tight, I'm going to stick my needle down into it and pull so that I've sort of made a little, it's not a knot, but it's just a little hitch. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my needle into the inside of the fabric and I'm going to flip it inside out and sort of weave that end under a piece of yarn the top and then from the bottom and the top. This is just hiding my end so that if anything were to happen to the top of that seam, um, the end wouldn't be right there ready to unravel. There's no way that this is going to unravel. Um, so now that I've woven it in an inch or so from the site of reversal, it's safe for me to trim close to the surface of the knitting. So that's sewing the seam and coming up to where I want it to stop, reversing it, tucking it into that little half hitch and then hiding the seam on the inside. And then I would do the same thing. I would use one of these tails up here and going from underneath two to underneath two all the way down to where I wanted it to stop on this side reversing it with that half hitch and weaving in the ends. And then you get this nice seam that is flexible, feels like part of your knitting, and holds your ends securely in place. So good luck with your mitts.